at Sibiu in Romania, round seven of the ERC 2013. A gravel rally, some portions of tarmac though. Rough gravel roads, punctures, a constant threat. Summertime. What a beautiful backdrop. Brian Bouffier, well, shortly before Sivier, appointed as a test driver for Hyundai in the World Rally Championship. So taking the lead after three stages, obviously buoyed by the recognition. Making the Peugeot 207 sing for him. Sadly, though, had to retire on stage four with suspension damage. What a shame. Jan Kipetsky took the lead after Bouffier's retirement. Had a scare on stage two with a faulty power steering. That said, one Sibio, albeit with some rather tender arm muscles. Skoda Faber S2000 has been such a fantastic machine over the last few years. Francois Delacour, he though in the Peugeot house, 207 S2000, finishes second, took no risks had in mind setting himself up for the Romanian Championship, where he's been busy. Great guy to have around. Those predator eyes one day will be missed. Toshi Arai. Very tough on the production cars. And tough on the veteran driver, Toshi. Uh, got sick after suffering from uh, a cloud of dust inside his Subaru. Survived, though, taking third overall and winning the production cup with a cough. Minus four right long. Clinching victory in the two-wheel drive cup on the very last stage, Sebastian Barbu. Romanians, Citroen DS3 R3, untouchable. Kapetsky just could not stop winning. Fourth victory of the season. Huge lead now in the championship. Toshi Arai and McLaughlin on that podium. One of the most important parts of an automobile is the steering wheel. Without that, you go nowhere. Check this. Czech Republic and the Barham, round eight of the European Rally Championship 2013. Homeland of Jan Kapetsky and, of course, Skoda Motorsport. Back on tarmac then for the 43rd running of the Barham. And first appearance in competition in the ERC for the R5 car, a new generation of rally cars, 1.6 turbo, lots of standard parts, low running costs, well, bullish. Uh, Valosek, Pavel that is, ending up eighth overall with the Ford Fiesta R5. First appearance with a new look ERC for Esabeki Lappi. Skoda works driver, not much experience on tarmac. Oops, a daisy. Real talent, though. 
great part of the ERC for the latter part of the season. Sadly for him, though, on stage six, found out that uh, things can bite. Big off, straight on at a right-hander. Roll cage damage, unfortunately, after this. Could have been worse. Well, Cresta, very last rally for the Czech veteran and former works driver, a puncture dropping it out of the fight for a podium. Fifth overall at the end for Roman. Miroslav Jakis, Mitsu Lancer, 9N4, dominating the production cup, six overall as well, and rewarded with the Colin McRae Flat Out Trophy. If in doubt, flat out. Jan Czerny, Peugeot 208 R2, that's right, winning the two-wheel drive cup, reigning European two-wheel drive champion, and uh, fourth overall in this year's rally, uh, Ven Spils at the wheel of a Skoda Fabia S2000, so uh, ubiquitous. Weigand, this is the German, fourth overall. Great run again in the Skoda S2000. And Jaromir Tarabros of the Czech Republic, eighth after leg one, after a penalty, unfortunately, but a uh, great comeback during leg two and got himself on the podium. Phenomenal. Well, if you want to go well, no mistakes. Vaclav Pesh, exactly that with his Mini S2000, second overall. Unfortunately for everyone, uh, head and shoulders, it seems, above the rest. Jan Kipetsky, fifth victory of the season, and of course winning in front of his home crowd. Doesn't get better and by more than a minute. Of course, we are very happy because yesterday we didn't have any problems. We were just enjoying. We were trying to drive uh, really fast. Today it was more or less about surviving because uh, the gap was quite huge. So uh, it would be quite stupid to make some, some mistake. Gabretzky within touching distance of the European title after this. rally in Poland round nine and celebrating 70 years one of the oldest rallies in the world final gravel rally of the European Championship for 2013 but poor weather once again and very very muddy oh dear huge crowds drawn why Robert Kubica at home Second overall after six stages. Near lunacy, isn't it? Fabulous. Well, the thing about luck is that sometimes it runs out. Um, took a stone on stage seven, and uh, unfortunately, the right front wheel and suspension waved goodbye continued on three wheels but had to retire after the stage Craig Green back in the ESC after a long summer break the notes called for the first time for him anyway by Belgian Laura Van Est who was with Loix you remember earlier on in the season punctured though unfortunately on 10 and dropped back it wasn't a great performance for the new partnership. Maybe the long break not serving Craig that well. Production Cup. Dominic Yakis 
with Vilas of Lithuania, 11th overall for his Mitsu. And the Citroen DS3 R3T of Radoslav Rashkovsky, winning the two-wheel drive cup and 16th overall. And what about Kapetsky? Well, nursing the car home during the leg with a loose prop shaft, you can hear it tinkling away. Um, that's the link between the gearbox and the rear diff. Uh, prop shaft not broken, but some bolts are missing, uh, causing the vibrations which you can hear, uh, but third overall. I'm trying to think what that sounded like, frankly. Uh, Brian Bouffier, uh, very impressive with the ageing Peugeot 207. It was the 208 on display, as you've seen. Uh, losing the rally, though, due to a broken damper on stage 10, second overall at the end. And Kajetan Kajetanovic, dream weekend for the Polish champion, securing the fourth Polish title and third victory in the Rally of Poland. The very first for an R5 car in the ERC. Just finish, okay, 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 thank you. Thank you. Good I think it's the best uh, day in my life. Okay, maybe not best, but second day <laughs> in my life. <laughs> second best day. Uh, but uh, first day, it was... Uh, uh, it was uh, first time too, but uh, you know, with girlfriend, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let that one hang in the air, shall we? Uh, Kei Itanovic then taking it and uh, delighted to be the winner, as you heard. Kipetsky then 248 points and, well, champion or bar. Uh, Kipetsky Bouffier and uh, Kato, as he's known. Next up, Rally Croatia. Stay with us for the season's run for home after this.